put everything on the oh, table. Yes. Yeah. He, he took out the table. He went after the table He's and tried to. He's going for it. Look who's back. <laughs> Big Mike's not done. Big Mike's going for it. He's just going to bumper everything. <laughs> oh, man. And you see, they left that one. That <laughs> they left the car uh, sitting there. Stuck there. Oh, Hopefully man. that's a drive route. Look at this. Look at this. Way wide. That's all lap traffic. You see that uh, 17 car. Zero. Sorry, Double seven. zero is making it through. Yeah, eight, eight, two, two. They had to throw four numbers on there. And we're with Woo! Them. Go yeah, Big Mike. Big Mike. This is to going, be expected. Big Mike going backwards <laughs> on the track, pushing his car again. Now now I know he's an official, but oh, I think yeah. a guy named Dirty Harry <laughs> might do that before. Yeah, but this might be a little different circumstances. I'm assuming. Uh, true. Maybe, but look at the look. His car's all over the place, and he's pushing his car again. Mm -hmm. I, I think Steve's getting used to this. <laughs> they might as well put an engine in that oh, back car and not the front. I bet you they, uh... Look, look at the speed that car carries through right there. That one car, but he just drives it, or, yeah, he drives it indeed. Either Robert Rice is down on the gas really hard, or April <laughs> Shaw's is way off that brake. Yeah. It looks like Big Mike's losing his buddy over there. Oh, I was just gonna. Yeah. <laughs> He's hanging the Irwindale line of big race. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, the outside car comes in for it. Yes, he did. Wow. You see, these things are still fishtailing all over the place. There's your leader. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, John Zimmerman's really putting on uh, a, a good performance out there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now. Woo! I love I love this. This is like beautiful. <laughs> oh, these guys! See, these guys don't leave anything. They they take it all. They lose it all. All right, let's see what's going on now. So, uh, looking for your leader. There he is, going down. Close stuff in the intersection. Looks like uh, 13 decided to put on the brakes. Or was that not oh, the, that the was double zero. He almost lost it. Your leader. Lost, and here dude. comes second place. Second like, place, folks. He's like, gauze. He's just. Well, this is like, this is a good battle. I mean, they're not side by side, but yeah, that double zero is starting to lose concentration. He's up. Robert Rice. Robert you know, Rice is just flooring it there. Yeah, I don't think he's going to Whoa, he's track. going around. And he's he all around. He spins it out. He's and he's got the whole train out. <laughs> he, took, he even took the little markers. But look, he ain't done yet. No way. No need for a turn there. Right, wow. Robert? Woo! Look at that close intersection as well. I have never, ever, ever in uh, my whole time seeing turn I've ever seen a whole train spin around and uh, not break off or anything. Just like that. A, that was a sturdy train. It was like the whole chassis spun around. You know, just together. <laughs> no. And it's oh, that hit! They hit in the intersection. Wow. As we throw the volume stages all the way to the top, that was an intersection. <laughs> <laughs> that car is getting pulled around and whipped all over the place. Oh my goodness. Robert doesn't care. No mercy. Look, he's digging into the track. Driving he's marking his territory. Driving it into the ground. Oh, here we go. Big Mike, uh... He's still pushing his move. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes, I believe this is... Race is over. The race is over. By the way, checkered flag for John Zimmerman. Right on, John. As well as Scott McMichael. Good job to both of them. And look, four car train. There he is. He's pushing him. He's pushing him. Right and he's going to spin him out. Spin him out. Robert Rice oh, right there. Yeah. Second place finisher. Ah, great, great night of racing here. Right, and 13 of Billy Altfather and Travis Altfather coming third place. 8822 Chico Powell and Patrick Miller, the famous pure stock racer, comes in fourth. Number 17, Big Mike, Steve Ellis. They're not tied together, but they sure made it into the fifth spot. And rounding out in the sixth place finisher, Steve Cook and Thomas Mohill Jr. There's your winner. There he is. Well, John Zimmerman, I'm telling you right now, they really, I mean, taking the Demolition Derby car, which these basically are, but I gotta say, there's one car I want to see in the Demolition Derby, it'd be Herbie. Oh, Herbie, man, yeah. 
Showed, uh, showed it all right there. Here's Big Mike. Wow, pulling right up. I mean, what a great, great event. Once again, we just can't stress how much fun these guys are. Right on. Uh, good job for uh, all those guys at Urban Mill Speedway for like a burnout. train racing out. Big Mike. No strings to the gas pedal. Nope. Not at all. Now, uh, Steve Cook was the one guy that did not make it up to the podium for obvious reason. Yeah. But an uh, yeah. awesome event here at Arundel Speedway Train Racing. You see all the drivers hugging and laughing and just kicking and punching. They're, and they're, they're enjoying it. Punching and kicking. <laughs> There's that eight car. Patrick Miller, man. It's always right, great. He, he's in a here. lot of stuff out here. You know? Patrick, you know, he just, he kind of just runs with Look at that. Man. He wears his sunglasses at night. Man, you know you're a badass when you wear sunglasses at night. That, that, that probably named the song after him. Yep. All right, Patrick well, Miller folks. wears his sunglasses at night. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for uh, joining us. Uh, you had an option to choose. Well, no, you didn't. Uh, no, you didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> No, but it's an EVM. Tell me when they covered an event like this, like this. Like this, man. Now, Preston would like to thank you uh, as well, we're sure. But uh, there's, if there's one guy that I think we have to get a shout out to, it's Steve Cook. He put his middle car on backwards. That was real. He put his middle car on backwards. I mean, honestly, people could say what was he thinking, but we know he was out there to put on a show for the fans. Yeah, the unique style, too. Huh, indeed. You gotta thank Chance coming, pick your part. All the record cards with the Southern California for helping us out with companies. Irwindale Speedway for hosting the event. You gotta thank um, the cameras that are able to record this event. Oh, yeah, and the uh, microphones that we're using to talk into. <laughs> microphones. Oh, hey, you know what? We're low budget TV. Gotta thank the fans, always. Number one, I don't care who you are. The fans are what make it happen. And we'd also like to thank the fan that's cooling us down. And Steve Cook could probably use some cooling down right now. I mean, check him out. Look at that car. That thing burnt down. Not actually burnt down. We've actually got a quick word with him. He is, in fact, going to be planning on bringing that thing out here for next week's Demolition Derby. Right on. Way to go, Steve. Next week, that's right. Demolition Derby. We'll Yep. Because they'll, they'll probably kick us out on YouTube or wherever else this gets posted. But, I mean, I'll be honest. I just broke a magnet. That's about all I got to say. But thank you for joining us, folks. Uh, whether your car's backwards in a chain of three or regular, drive safely. And we'll hope to see you next time at Irwindale Speedway. Steve Cook. Look at the cook on the roof. There he is. Look at him. He's excited. <laughs> and Scott McMichael, your winners here tonight. Your winners. We'll catch you next time on Low Budget TV.